Sean Avery's way of selling the NHL is to be the villain, to be a crass and vulgar self-promoter, thumbing his nose at anyone who doesn't like it. Well, today, the NHL said enough is enough. Avery has been suspended indefinitely by the league, pending a hearing with Commissioner Gary Bettman. Today in Calgary, Avery, who had already called Jerome McGinley too boring, used the media to really stir things up more today, making an obscene sexual reference about another flame star, Dion Phaneuf, who happens to be dating Avery's ex-girlfriend, Alicia Cuthbert. Comments which many might find offensive. I'm just going to say one thing quick. No, no, everyone. Uh, I'm really happy to be back in Calgary. I love Canada. And I just wanted to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. See you later. Is there going to be a lot more of that on the ice today? Well, this is Avery's first year with the Stars after signing a free agent contract in the offseason. And while he is known for agitating and annoying the opposition, Avery appears to have now frustrated his teammates who are unimpressed by his latest antics. We expect that out of him like we have all year. And, uh, you know, the show continues. Brief reaction from Marty Turco there. Now, this is from Dallas Stars owner Tom Hicks today. In light of the decision, Hicks said, I completely support the league's decision to suspend Sean Avery. Had the league not have suspended him, the Dallas Stars would have. This organization will not tolerate such behavior, especially from a member of our hockey team. We hold our team to a higher standard and will continue to do so, said Tom Hicks, the owner of the Stars, today. I don't know what he says, so it's none of my business what he says, and uh, you know, I'd rather not talk about uh, Sean. He's, he's got his own things going on. Anything he says or do anymore shocks me. Uh, came to know him a little bit more, and um, I don't think it shocks me. It's just uh, part of him, and uh, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of uh, things to say for the next few days.